When first starting out with the smoke simulator, it can often be hard to get the smoke to look exactly the way you want it to. In this quick tip, I'll go over the four most important settings and show you how to balance them so that you don't need to keep guessing. The first is the resolution divisions. It's tempting to think of this only in terms of quality, since higher divisions does equal more information to simulate, but if you crank this up super high, it's not going to guarantee a good result. That's because adding in more information is going to drastically change how the simulation is run. So if you set this too high, it's just going to look super wispy, but if you set this too low, it's going to look super blocky. Because it changes the simulation so much, messing with this value can drive you crazy if you're after a specific look. After doing hundreds of smoke simulations, I've found that actually 99% of the time, a value of 96 works great. So set it to that at first and forget it for now. When it comes to quality, focus on high resolution divisions instead. Use a lower value for lower quality and a higher value for higher quality. Pretty straightforward. To get a specific look, you just need to focus on two things, high resolution noise and vorticity. Think of the noise strength as the scale of your simulation. Use a low value like zero for small things such as a candle flame and a high value for large things like a volcano. Be careful using any value higher than three because too much noise starts to introduce unwanted artifacts. If three doesn't make it look large enough, this is where you would increase the domain divisions if you absolutely have to. Vorticity on the other hand is the amount of turbulence in the simulation. So you can use a low value to get a smooth flow and a high value to get a more volatile one. The maximum is four, but if you need extra craziness, then you can always just add a turbulence force field. So I hope you found that helpful. If you enjoy working with simulations, but find it a little bit intimidating, check out my intro to dynamics course in the link below, and I'll walk you through getting started with every type of physics in Blender. Hope to see you there.